This is Coastal Bend History. Sponsored by Oak Creek Homes. So now we're standing in front of the Art Museum of South Texas. It's part of the larger arts and science park. But you know what? Originally, the original plans for this place called for it to be in a much different part of the area. In 1960, the newly formed Corpus Christi Arts Council petitioned the city to fund a feasibility study on building a civic center in the downtown area. The center would house cultural, civic, and scientific public attractions. Originally, the council wanted to build a new landmass north of the T-Head, an art museum, museum of science and history, an auditorium, and a performing arts theater would be built on the landmass. But in September 1961, Hurricane Carla put an end to that idea. So the Corpus Christi Arts Council began looking for a new location. A candidate popped up when the Harbor Bridge was completed in 1959. It replaced the Bascule Bridge, which was torn down. That demolition made a large section of Bayfront land at the end of Shoreline available. And in December of 1963, the city and council agreed to work together to buy the land for what would be called the Bayfront Arts and Science Park. In 1964, the Corpus Christi Museum Board voted to build the new Science and History Museum on the site of the old David Hirsch School, which had been demolished. That land was donated by the Arts Council, and that opened in 1968. The Art Museum of South Texas opened in 1972. In 1976, the Little Theater of Corpus Christi was renamed the Harbor Playhouse. From concept to completion, it only took 15 years to make the Bayfront Arts and Science Park a reality. Okay, so since it was completed in 1970, the park has continued to expand, including, well, new museums, the water gardens, and sports and entertainment venues. In fact, that's why the city changed the area name from the Arts and Science Park to the Sports, Entertainment, and Arts Venue. If you want to learn more about the C District and the park, you can click on the QR code you see on your screen, or you can go to our website, ChrisTV.com, click on the Coastal Bend History tab, and that's going to take you to all of our Coastal Bend History segments, including this one. Until next time, I'm Andy Lascano.